YouTube channel. My name is Sakhi Bigbal and here we discuss about Bitcoin options trading, live trade and chart analysis and welcome to another video. So in the last video, uh, I share with you guys already like what I'm looking in the market, what is the positions that I'm holding, uh, everything I share with you guys and I also share that Monday I'll be closing that position and uh, Monday I'll just watch the market to see the work where the market wants to head then we will take the trade on tuesday for the weekly expiry so exactly that's what we're going to do now so we're going to take a weekly expiry trade for 21st april that means this uh, friday's expiry so th uh, that is the trade that we're going to take today and i'm going to show you guys what's the trade i'm going to take uh we I haven't taken the trade so i'm going to take the trade so i'll share with you guys also you're going to see uh what are the things that i'm looking at when i'm going to enter into a trade as well okay so without further delay let's jump right into our today's content so before going into the delta exchange platform to take the trade let's uh, analyze the market first let's analyze a higher time frame from the from, from there we will um lower down to the lower uh, lower time frame then we'll see like uh, what are the positions or what are the things that is available for us or what are the what is the range or what is the overall picture of the market as you can see the market is in a rally uh, this is a monthly one okay so you can see there is a drop this is a small correction and the market uh trying to rise back up to the previous range in which it was uh, trading so in long run we can see that the market is bullish if you look at the monthly time frame you can see market is in bullish so it's okay it's uh we are not taking any monthly positions but we will understand why it is necessary to know the monthly positions is uh, for us to understand where is the institutions targeting, where is the big money playing in the market, like where do they want to be going to be at. So if it's uh, overall bullish, so we don't try to take any trade which is like uh, heavily one-sided, let's say a uh, super bearish trade. So that's why it's important for us to understand what is the overall picture of the market. So it's bullish in a monthly time frame. If you look at the weekly time frame, you can see the market was uh, in a uh, in a in a bear market we can say that now the market is slowly returning back and now it's reached that uh, previous support level which we discussed last video as well so there is a possibility of a small rejection over here before it rises back up so this is something that we discussed already but in overall if you look at the weekly chart also we are in bullish we are bullish okay now i will open the daily chart so this is the daily one so as you can see uh, we dropped parabolic we came back up we came back and then there's a small correction I will, I will say this is a good correction the market came back up 31,000 now market got back to 29,500 range right so this is the range in which market playing right now so there is a consolidation after every rise so you can see after every rise there is consolidation rise consolidation now drop so there can be a pos there is a possibility of uh, consolidation in this range as well okay so if you look at into the four hour chart this is where we will see some ranges okay this is the chart which we're going to display uh, discuss in detail okay because so why we are trading for friday's expiry right there is uh, no point for us to spend a lot of time in monthly chart or weekly chart because we are taking only for just let's say three days or four days from now so it doesn't make sense for us to spend a lot of time in the chart which is higher time frame and also very low time frame let's say five minute or one minute doesn't make any sense or 50 minute it doesn't make much of a sense to discuss on all those better will be four hours or one hour chart right so we'll discuss about the four hour chart first so i'm going to uh i marked already some levels which you already know the levels that i marked previously so it's the same one but i added some some uh, other lines as well which i will share with you guys today don't worry so as you can see market was here during our last discussion right like last week market was here we we said okay we will wait for an uh monday to for the market to go to a different range then we'll trade then it happened market went to a different range yes once the market went to a different range i already uh, shot a strangle which i already booked a profit i share with you guys as well last week what is a profit we made a good profit actually 20 percentage but it's not every day we make 20 percentage or every week we get to make 20 percentage it's just because that is a colorful week we had a lot of uh, data coming up and uh, it was a risk as well uh, to take that particular trade but uh, it paid off uh, really well for us so as you can see over here if you look at it the market was consolidating in this range 
tried to break above 31,000, created a new high, then uh, rejected back. Now came back to this range. Now break this range. When I say range, this was the range. I mean something that we are looking at was 29,800. We'll make it always a round figure. Okay, we'll uh, we'll try to always make it a round figure. We don't try to uh, see as uh, 360, 460 or something like that. We'll try to see a round figure. So it's 3500 to 28500. Uh, sorry, 29800 was the range, previous range in which the we were expecting the market to trade. I mean, this was the range I was expecting the market to trade. Yes, for sure. And it's a Monday. Uh, yesterday was Monday, and I always share with you guys Monday, we'll sit in the sideline to see where the market is heading or where is the market. Uh, uh, targeting for this particular week where is the market going for this particular week so this is this is what happened as you can see in monday right now the market came down to a new range i know that it is not formed a range yet so we cannot confirm if it's going to be in this particular range or it's going to drop back into this particular range which is below but if you're going to wait for all these things definitely you're going to miss a lot of opportunity in the market to make some uh, good money so what i will do is I will expect the market to trade in this range, which is 29200, which you can see over here, 29200, this blue line. Why? Because this was a previous resistance or the previous high the market formed during the uh, during the consolidation at this range. Then I will expect the market to be here as well, 29800 on the upside and 29200 on the downside. This will be a shorter time frame range, which I'm looking at in the market. Okay. A shorter time frame range and if you look at in a longer time frame range a broader range i would say i can see the market trading between 3500 and 29000 so we marked over here see 29000 and uh, sorry 29000 over here in the downside and 30500 so shorter range i'm looking at is 29800 which you can see over here and 29200 which is just a 600 point uh, range and in a longer time frame or in a broader range that i'm looking at is a 3500 as well as 29000 i'll be happy if market is trading between this range and i'm going to make a particular uh, position in which will be profitable if the market is trading between this range okay so it's quite straightforward i mean this is what i'm looking at in the market but if the market is gonna break below this range and come anywhere over here which is come back to the previous range in which it was trading then it's going to trouble our position we, we may end up in loss in one of the positions which i'll share with you guys what is the positions that i'm looking at in the market so in order to decide that we need to go to delta exchange platform and see the premium also so this is the range i'm looking at in the market let's go and see what is the what are the options that we have or what are the things that, uh what are the strikes that is available between this uh i mean beyond this range that means above 3500 or below 29000 so go to Delta Exchange platform, then I will go to the expiry. You can see that is 18. We'll go to 21st because we are trading, we are planning to trade on 21st uh, weekly expiry. So we click, click on 21st April weekly expiry. So the range that we can look for is 28500 is available, which is below 29000, which is good. 28500 is even below, so it's okay for us. Okay. And on the upside, we have 3500. So 3500. Okay, so 3500 is here. So this particular range, I'm going to move it down to 28500. So I opened up the possibility in the downside right now because we have a good option contracts trading at the equal price, almost equal price, I would say, which is 3500 and 28500. So I am expecting the market to play within this range even if the market comes down and make a range over here is okay for us and go up and make a range over here is also okay for us unless and until market is going to break 3500 on the upside right 3500 on the upside and yes 30 I think I'll put it 30,000 so at least I get triggered I know that what's happening in the market and I'll put at 28,000 another alert 28,000 sorry 29,000 I'll put one more alert at 29,000 just in case so I, I'm just aware that the market is dropping 
market is coming here to the point so if if there is an adjustment to be made so i am just prepare i can prepare myself if the market is going to break below above or below this two ranges so this is the thousand point good range 30,000 and 29,000 this is a good range over here if the market is going to break any of this range i'll get an alert to uh, see if i need to make any adjustment to my positions or not so let's go to delta exchange platform and see uh, what is the trade opportunity for us right so 28500 let's look into 28500 first then we go to the other one so 28500 always 50x leverage okay so i'll show you guys 50x leverage so 50x leverage what i'm looking at as i said this will be heavy contract this will not be the 750 contracts or anything like that i will look for heavy contracts because it's a weekly expiry trade this is my only trade that i'm going to take for this week so i'm going to load in my contracts over here so that's why my risk is also high but my reward is also high right so if you look about it think about it it's a reward is high. now it's a placing of stop loss where do we place a stop loss if you are watching my videos you should know this but anyways i am going to share with you guys all the time so it's uh, uh you you also practice the same thing we look for the recent highs the recent highs in the market recent swing highs we can see market has never traded above this particular contract sorry not market this particular contract has never traded above 300 for a long period of time 300 price you can see so 280 was the max 272 somewhere around there is a the max so 300 seems to be a good one so i'll put 300 and 25.7 which is 325 so this is the risk that i'm taking which is one is to one on a particular leg but if you look into the overall overall trade as a whole it is not one is to one it is one is to two when i'm losing i will lose only a particular amount let's say one 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 or one is to 1.5 but if i'm winning i'll make about one is to three so i'll make more than what i'm supposed i will i'll be losing in the market right so we already uh place an order for our put side now we'll go to see what's the what what do they have to offer for our call side so put side i can see the value is dropping as i always say i don't like to i don't like to wait in the market to for my order to trigger so i'll just make it 162 then we'll focus on our okay it is triggered not most not entirely triggered but it's uh triggered so let's say let's see on this one so best bid 159 we are going to try to enter into the call side okay so sorry 50x leverage so i'm gonna put it there 50x leverage 1500 contracts we look for same we look for same um set same kind of a risk to reward because the market is like very similar to each other so let's let's look over here what what uh, what is there to offer for us you look into premium charts Recent swing highs, recent swing highs, recent swing highs is 270s, 272, very similar to that 295, 300. There is a different range altogether, 350, 400 that range, but I'm not going to take 350, 400 range. I'm going to look for this range. You see this consolidation range from here? So I'm going to look over here, this consolidation range. So I'm going to put it at 300 and 325, same as I put for the, the uh, put side, right? So almost 1 is to 1. It's okay if even if it's uh, my SL is triggered in one of the leg, I will I can re-enter right. That's always a possibility of re-entering. So I am okay with that. So okay, my put side is entered. Let's see which is the contract which is not filled yet. So my calls uh, put side is not entered completely because of the value difference in this one. Let me check what is the what are the options. Okay, one side one fifty seven point five is the one no problem uh, for me as i always say what i need is i don't like to wait for the order to trigger i want my or both the position to be ended at the same time or almost same time okay so now i entered into both the trades so as you can see my entry is at 159 actually my entry is same price for call as well as put 1500 contracts 1500 contracts sls i'm looking at 300 to 325 300 to 325 for both the legs currently my position is at 42 dollar loss because of the slippage from the mark price to the entry price and uh, my take profit will be at one that means i'm going to let this trade run until i get complete profit so this is a 2000 point strangle 28500 to 38 3500 so 2000 point strangle 
something that we're looking for in a weekly strangle so this is what we prepared right now for this particular week so this will be my trade for this week which is 21st april expiry when will i close this trade i will close this trade if there is a i mean i get a 90 percentage decay if i get a 90 percentage decay there is no point for me to hold on to this trade until it goes to zero i may close this trade if i get a 90 percent decay or if one of my position is already given me 90 percent decay i will close that position and if one position doesn't lose the value, I may re-enter into another leg. It's it's based on the market situation and market condition. For now, this will be my position and this is the trade that I'll be holding. No other trades, nothing. There will be no directional trades or anything like that. I will make an adjustment. I will enter into another triangle or another leg if there is any movement in the market. Based on that, I'll keep adjusting my triangles. So this is the trade for this particular week. So as you can see our risk to reward is positive so that's the whole point we need to have a positive risk to reward i'm targeting one is two but it will not it is not one is two it, uh, based on the trade charges and everything it will be 1.5 is to three something like that it's that that will be the uh, risk to reward if you if you if you know that the exact risk to reward will be one is 1.5 something like that okay so this is the trade for this particular week i hope it's clear for you guys I wish you guys all the best. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, pray safe.